Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to activate a hidden feature on all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now, this feature is available on One UI 6.0 and 5.0, but it is much more advanced now on One UI 6.0. But regardless, you are able to activate this anywhere. So go to your settings and then go into connections. Once you're in the connections, go into the Wi-Fi and then tap on the three dots on the top corner right over here and go into intelligent Wi-Fi, okay? And of course, you're gonna get this menu. We have shown this menu several times before, but there actually is a hidden menu you can activate at the bottom known as Connectivity Labs. Now, when you normally come to this screen, you're not gonna see Connectivity Labs at the bottom, but it is in fact an incredible menu with lots of options. Okay, to activate this, what you have to do is you have to tap where it says intelligent Wi-Fi several times, okay? And as you tap on it three or more times, it's gonna say labs has been turned on. And once it is enabled, basically all you do is you tap on it, you're gonna be dumped into this amazing menu. Now, before I go over this menu, again, this is One UI 6.0. In my previous videos, we showed you guys on 5.0, when you go to the bottom and you tap on intelligent Wi-Fi, what happens is you actually only get Wi-Fi developer options, okay? So it is an option. It's gonna give you some specific options, but not as good as this one on One UI 6.0. In fact, if I scroll down, you can see these options are available on 6.0 under a separate menu. But today, we wanna look at this guy right here that most people will be getting soon. So you have a lot of stats in regards to your Wi-Fi connection. It shows the name of the connection, when you were connected, how long you were connected for. If you go down, you get a weekly report. So how much did I spend on Wi-Fi? For example, if I tap right here on Monday, so it was connected to Wi-Fi for 20 hours. And if I tap on Wednesday, it was connected to Wi-Fi for 11 hours, which is crazy, but expect that if your phone is on all the time. And you can tap on usage to get some other metrics, as you can see. Now, my favorite part is when you scroll down, it shows you what band you were connected to. Was it 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz? and which one was there for longer, okay? So these are just interesting facts you can find out right here. And if you look at the bottom here, you can see mostly we were using Wi-Fi 6, which right now is the fastest standard, and that was a total of 79 hours for the last week. Look at this one, we have network information. We can tap on saved networks, and we can also see what unsecured networks uh, we were exposed to. In fact, one of them right here, I think this one, we I actually connected to this one. And this is an unsecured network, all right? Now, this one here is unused. And if you scroll down, another great thing right here, home Wi-Fi inspection. You tap on it. Basically, it's gonna tell you how strong your signal is, and it's gonna give you some step-by-step -step directions to make it even better if necessary. So tap on start. Okay, select the network you want to check in on. So I just selected this one right here that I wanna sample out. I'm gonna tap on next, okay? It says it's in excellent shape right now. Your home Wi-Fi network is well configured. If I tap next again, it's gonna make me walk around the house to check for weak signal areas that I can identify and actually stay away from them or maybe add additional repeaters like Wi-Fi repeaters to make the connection in that area stronger. So if we tap on start, it's just gonna ask you to walk around. It's gonna just get some readings and get you some details. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm sitting right here, but when you're done, tap on done, and it's gonna say weak signal area found, and you're gonna just follow the instructions. I'm gonna tap on exit right now. Uh, in this case, I just wanna show you guys what is available on One UI 6.0 versus 5.0 and that you can enable these. And with the 5.0, you can go into these options here that also allow you to do a bunch of cool things as you can see. All right, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.